What's up guys, finally back with another Halo review and it's the Mantis with an EVA Spartan. I just rolled into Target today and this was sitting on the shelf and I was like, whoa, this is out already? And apparently it was. Now just as a heads up, this was 45 when I got it, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be 39.99. Uh, if you guys have been following Target, you know they've been like raising their toy prices and in stores they have like some special higher price, but online it's usually cheaper. So I was trying to price match this, but if you scan the barcode on the Target app, this does not show up yet, so it's apparently still too new, so I may have to go back and get this price match later when it finally shows up on the app. But just to be aware, this is probably going to be higher than 40 but keep your receipt so you can price match it later when it finally shows up on the app or online. But with that little disclaimer out of the way, it's been a while since I got a Halo toy and this thing looks sick. So let's get this review started. All right, now continuing with the box here, here is the top, pretty plain, just like all the other ones. Same here, plain, just says Mantis. This one's kind of cool, it has a nice glam shot. I'm kind of wondering how tall he is. I, I actually don't know. I, I haven't been following this too much, so I have no idea about this as, other than the fact that it exists. And look at these other figures. I definitely am probably going to get um, all of them. And then, of course, all importantly, here is the bottom with the UPC that you are going to want to use to find. Excuse this little smash here because I don't know what happened, but <laughs> you should see the other one. All right, let me go and pull it out of the box in front of you guys because I'm sure you guys are probably curious what it looks like inside the box as I know I am and oh, that's kind of interesting and wow, this thing looks kind of big and pull that out there and holy snack rolls. You guys seeing this? Look, look, let me adjust this camera here. Wow. This is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, well, uh, looks like reviewing this is gonna be exceeding the size of my studio. So, get some behind the scenes here. Uh, this is just plastic. Got the Eva there, nothing on the back, so I'll pull them out later. And then you have this leg piece, and then this upper piece here. Is it, ooh, <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I'll show you more of that later. And then, of course, you have this it's pretty straightforward at least it's simple to assemble all right and there are the pieces all displayed and then the figure as well now i've decided because of just how sheerly massive this thing is i'm just going to show you the the bottom part close-ups and then close-ups on the top before i actually assemble it because as you can see once i put this it's going to be like super high so uh let's go and take a closer look at this massive behemoth all right now starting with these legs here the bottom portion you got the nice unsc logo right there on this kind of groin piece which doesn't really make much sense because it's a mecca but anyways you got this little connection point right here where it connects and then you have the nice robotic details as well got more details right there all the way around now this thing even on the back here now for some reason the halo figures if you guys probably know already seems to be like a customizer's dream everybody loves customizing them like uh, painting them and all this stuff so i think this this is definitely gonna be aided very well by you guys customizing it and i definitely can't wait to see you guys put some weathering on here and all that good stuff and definitely send to me on my instagram because i mean i'd love to post it if you guys make some really nice ones but look at all that detail there it's like little rocket packs i think he has rocket packs right i know he does a stomp thing i don't think that really does it but man just look at all the details it's so awkward to review as well even on the bottom it's pretty good feet right there got some nice feet as well look at those little details okay now here's the interesting part here's the articulation he's got the joint that moves there and then up here it does full move in a full 360 rotation which is nice i thought this was a ball joint it is not they're just rotating so uh yeah it, it took a little while to figure out how to get this contorted and all that stuff so that is this is what it should look like and if you're ever confused, just look at the front of the box, which I had to do. Now, a nice thing to note here is that these joints actually have a lot of tension to them, which is great. So they'll hold their shape because I think he can be kind of a heavy figure to hold up. And also he's got one, two and three joints as well. And the joints actually have some click adjustables, as you can see, it has click, uh, it has little marker points. So it actually should hold itself up and not just kind of flop down when you try to keep them up. So that's the first joint there, I guess, the knee number one. And here's knee number two as well. You can see it has those 
click positions and then you have his ankle joint here which is kind of cool i didn't realize he had an ankle joint there but yeah it goes up and down it has a click positions as well and it also rotates uh oh did i just break that Okay, heads up guys, I semi broke it, but it's not that big a deal. As you can see right here, it just kind of slides right in like so. I'm gonna have to need to glue it back. I thought it was just kind of like resistance or friction holding it in, but it actually needs to be glued back. So I get, apparently I popped the glue, but it's not that big a deal. So yeah, uh, for you guys, make sure you don't uh, over rotate the ankle so you don't pop that off. So. Uh, yeah. All right, now moving into the top piece here. This one has all the crazy details. Starting with the front here, you can see he's got the headlights here. Unfortunately, they don't light up, but this thing is pretty hollow. I'm pretty sure you guys could probably get some LEDs in there to make that light up, which would look so awesome. There's the details there. There's the connection points. There's legal jumbo. You can just sand that off. So much detail, though. This part's kind of, eh, it's kind of boring, but if you put some nice weathering paint on it, you can definitely make it look nice because they definitely got the sculpt and I'm thinking they got the scale down right as well. There's a nice UNSC logo there. There's the hatch. Then you have the arms right here. Now, just like the legs, these are pretty, they, 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 they're kind of contorted in a way that isn't correct to its position, final position in the box, the way it's packaged. So it took me a little bit to figure out. I'll show you how they rotate when I get to that. But there's the guns right there and then the rocket launchers. All right, now for the articulation, this portion right here actually rotates all the way forward and back, as you can see, to its stop points. This portion right here also rotates in a full, just as much of a circle as it can until it hits its stop point. And then this portion right here also rotates. But if you look here, there's a bigger cutout kind of slanted right there that allows it to go nice and deep. You try to go the other way. It only goes so far. So this is the backwards way. And this is the forward front position that it's supposed to be. Then this one, this looks like it should rotate. It does not. Do not push it. I felt like I was going to break it for a second there. It rotates up here. As you can see, it's just the joint right there. And then you have the same kind of cutout as here where there's like a special way where it goes only that far that way. But if you go it this way, it goes much farther. So that is that same thing with this side with the turret. Now as a note, in case you guys are wondering, cause it does look like it could be flimsy. As long as you make sure you, you know, learn the joints that can move and which ones and the directions that they go, you will be fine. They're pretty sturdy. As you can see, it shouldn't just snap on you. Same thing right here. So as long as you make sure you're aware of what you're rotating and making sure it's rotating on its proper axis, axis, you shouldn't have any issues. Same thing with this right here. There, it's pretty sturdy right there. This part's the only thing that seems like it could break if you push it too much. But as you can see, there's some sturdiness, even though it feels hollow. So it does have some durability to it in case you wanted to hear how durable it is. I don't know if that's possible. Anywho, and back to the top portion right here. This is the cockpit and it opens like that as you can see you just kind of push in and then it slides open just like so it's pretty simple but it's got a nice little seat in there just you know begging to be painted as you can see got little pegs to hold them in place got that thing to kind of help make them nice and sturdy and that is what that looks like in a there and here is the EVA armored Spartan that comes with it I'll show a close-up of him later on and he fits perfectly fine with plenty of room to spare as you can see right there now if you don't lock him in place he's gonna flop around but if you put his arms into his little peg holes right there all right there we go I locked his hands into the little peg handles right there and then that little kind of leg gap right there and as you can see he is locked into place in fact you can put him upside down he doesn't fall out and you can shut the door on him and not up oh, oh, okay a little bit too hard but yeah it, it held in place pretty well for a little bit and of course you guys are definitely wondering as i was does master chief fit into there and he sure does i actually bent his legs to try to get him in there and he actually doesn't even need to bend his legs he's got plenty of room so you can just kind of lounge in there like so and just kind of have a nice little little nap there after 
fighting the banished in Halo Infinite? Probably. All right, now before I assemble him, I'll go over this Eva Spartan real quick. If you can see here, he's got some nice details. Would have been nice if you put that kind of shiny paint on there. Would have been awesome, but it, it still does. It's does the doozies but anyways he kind of is looking like email there with all his knife and stuff hanging out or or actually it could be a she who knows never know nowadays especially with this armor piece there he's got some more what is that i'm not sure what that is looks like mini shovels i don't know then you got uh mini shovels on that side as well and then you have nice details going all the way around and then on the bottom. And then of course the Spartan has a standard Spartan articulation for this line. The head goes up and down and not quite left or right because of the helmet. The arm rotates, the shoulder goes up, the elbow rotates and also goes up. Then he's got the torso pivot there. Then you got the legs that can go that far up, that far back, and then also the thigh swivel and a double jointed knee. And then the foot that goes forward and back and then swivels and then here's something they still haven't fixed the hand to move up and down it still only goes that way so it doesn't really hold the gun as well and for accessories he comes with this shotgun right here which is nicely sculpted detailed and painted and also bendy and you can either have him holding the shotgun or holstered on his back with the peg hole and hole just like so but anywho now for the moment we've all been waiting for including myself let's go and assemble this guy and see just how big he is it's pretty simple there pop that on and and bam there he is and this is the shortest i can make him but uh he, he still kind of fits on screen right sort of but then of course if you fully extend him to maximum height do that that then there you go he is at maximum height very difficult to balance but hey i got that and we'll go ahead and back the camera out so you can see how um how uh how high there we go Okay, there we go. That is how high he is. He is so massive. And if one were to measure him, which I'm about to do right now, you will see that he is almost 18 inches tall, fully extended. Now that is massive. And for a visual comparison, here he is next to the world of Halo 4 inch Master Chief. Here's the Funko Pop Master Chief. Here's the Spartan Collection 7 inch Master Chief. And of course, we'll roll in the mongoose here with Master Chief already sitting on it. Here's the world of Halo Warthog. Oh, geez. No! Whew. Okay, crisis averted. I saved him. Just gonna let him lean on the Warthog there. He's very unstable when he's fully extended. Although, to be fair, I don't think he's supposed to fully extend like this. I don't think I've ever seen that in the game. And finally, let's go and roll out the mongoose. Here is the ghost. World of Halo ghost next to him. He's just massive. Oh, hey, there's that Fortnite figure I was looking for. All right, now here he is at a more game accurate and reasonable configuration height. And at this configuration, he is about 11 inches, which is much better. And as for his constant width without his arms, which can just extend in and out, which changes his width, he's a little over seven inches. But with his arms in this configuration, he balloons up to 11 inches. And with his arms extended, he is now 15 inches wide. Whew. And sideways wise, I'll go with the upper torso since that never changes. And that is about six inches. And here he is again compared to the other World of Halo vehicles. So you can better gauge how your display would look if you bought him. And here he is next to a few common household items. The famous face smacker sock and Sonny the Burb. That, don't bite that! Don't bite that! He done bit the table. Oh, one more thing. Almost forgot. When he's fully attached, he can actually fully rotate in the circle as well. And he also has pegs on top, so you can actually put other figures on top. Now that's pretty awesome, isn't it? And of course, last but not forgotten, here's the Eva Spartan next to his fellow World of Halo UNSC counterparts. Oh, and a quick side note, he actually does not come with a stand like the others so that that's new no game code either and finally here he is next to bad guys 
Well guys, overall this is one insane figure slash vehicle. When I saw that Jazzwares was making a Mantis, I never thought they'd actually make it to scale. But man, do I love it. It makes me wonder now, what if what if they made a Scorpion tank or a Wraith or a Pelican? Whoa. Either way, I'm really liking the vehicles that Jazzwares is putting out here and I think they're on a roll and I hope they never stop. Now we just need to have the game come out. Of course, there is the multiplayer beta, which I personally avoided because I, I kind of don't want to ruin it, you know? I just want to enjoy it for the first time when it first comes out with as few bugs as possible. But anywho, dudes, it feels like Target is having like a toy dump right now, so I'm just finding a lot of cool stuff. So there's going to be some good reviews coming along the way, so make sure you're subscribed, stay tuned, and until the next video, Peace.